This is a continuation of the Simple Intranet WordPress plugin demo series. So this one I'm going to focus on setting up the activity feed and as you can see I'm logged in I'm at the Simple Intranet menu and step one we've already added our logo step two uh, set up the activity feed and I'm going to go to the settings on the activity feed and you can find it also in the settings activity feed area of the dashboard. Um, so what uh, we can do here is set the title of your widget um, and set some options for the activity feed. Uh, right here you can see what are you working on is the default um, text that appears when you post a reply to the activity feed. Uh, you can customize that this text will also show up on the widget so if you change it on the main activity feed which I will show you then uh, it will uh, also change in the widget so as you scroll down what are you working on will show there and then also what are you working on in the widget this is an activity feed widget so this is what we're doing here we're, we're trying to control the settings of uh, the activity feed so you can read through the other um, settings here, but the most important ones are um, the number of comments to show, for example, the titles of the activity feed, um, how often you want it refreshed. Uh, don't set it too often because it um, it can, like every, every one second can uh, overload your server or at least uh, strain it. Um, important part here is uh, when you're setting up your activity feed this is the ID of your activity feed so um, you need to make sure that you are calling a page um, of your activity feed it, it corresponds to this page ID so if we go back to our pages um, we can find the activity feed which we've made right here if you hover over it, you'll see in the bottom of your browser down here, you'll see ID post equals 8, which is ID number 8. So this is actually the correct activity feed uh, page. It will um, then spawn on your home page. Um, it will spawn the, uh, the list of activity feed comments. Essentially, this is a, a series of comments that and that's how they're treated by WordPress and you can you know reply to each comment and type in something um, and there's all sorts of settings um, to control how commenting is in your settings discussion area so you do have to make sure that you are allowing visitors um, to comment and um, allow people to comment or or post comments and new articles here. Um, I've disabled this for this for the purpose of the demo, but um, so you need that checked, and you likely want to be notified if anyone posts a comment or if you want to moderate comments. So you'll get uh, notifications. I'm just going to uncheck these again for the purposes of the demo. So that is the uh, the activity feed, and that's um, often. Uh, a highly used function, um, sort of like a Facebook feed. We've already uh, added employees in our previous demo. Um, one thing I did want to show you is um, groups. So uh, you can basically define new roles within WordPress using this function, uh, what, or what we call here groups. Um, I have defined board members, for example as a new group but if you wanted to add a new group we can do that here so why don't we call uh, the role um, IT manager and so you gotta make sure that this first role name um, has no spaces just underscores that's the slug and this is the actual label um, and then you just give this IT manager uh, capabilities and there's whole tons of them but the only one that's checked is read 
So it's like a subscriber can only read, but they can't edit or delete or do anything. So be careful with this one. You want to limit the capabilities. You don't want to have the average person be able to activate plugins, for example, or delete posts or themes. Um, you might want them to be able to uh, add add posts, for example, or upload files, for example, but not delete. So uh, once you add that role, so let's just, as an example, have them upload files. Add that role there. Uh, this new role has been created. You can go make sure in your groups that the role is there. And um, and that's uh, that's now an option. So this IT manager role will now be searchable in your employee directory. So if you go to employee directory, again we've used in a previous uh, demo the shortcode employees in square brackets on this page. Um, it will show up now here. So now if you do have any users, you don't but if you did have an IT manager role you could search and you could find them. We do have uh, a board member that we've assigned which is um, our demo Clooney. Um, good old George is showing up nicely in the board uh, as a board member and so yeah that's that's sort of the gist of how you would uh, add new groups and you can always um, just delete them too. Uh, but again, be careful with this because there's standard roles. I've deleted a bunch of standard WordPress roles, um, but you can see editors have lots of ca capabilities, 73 capabilities. Um, but uh, you, you do have to be careful with, uh, with what you do and which capabilities you give to whom.